We're running late, we meaning me. Sometimes I take him to creche, but this morning I have the option that Kurt can mind the boys. So I'm lapping that up. So I'm gonna go to Hot Pilates, which is my favorite workout class to do. Slick bun, which is also the inspiration of today's video, kind of, which we'll get into in a second. So I get a bit of water, I slick it down with this brush. I get a bit of oil. Hey, you're my Justin today. We were saying this morning how by nature, Fox and Malachi are so so different. Anyway, even as a newborn, Fox just always wanted Kurt as like his comforter, as everything. And I was like, okay, I'm like, cool. What is this saying about me? And Malachi is just the complete different. Yeah, what would you prefer? I'd rather be the favorite. <laughs> like, yeah, it's well, a lot. Don't ever complain. <laughs> nah, you can feel touched out and like feel like you want some personal space, but it's so much better than feeling like, why aren't I the favorite? Like. What am I doing wrong? Hailey Bieber is the inspo of today's video, which sounds really random for this intro, but I will explain it in more depth in a second. I'm smashing my coffee. I look dead. What makes me look alive is a little bit of blush. You just need a little bit of color. And then the last thing I do, the last thing, <gasps> hourglass brow gel. I'm going to finish my coffee in the car. Oh my gosh, Kurt. What? You want some bread with that parmesan? Yeah, sorry, I put a little bit too much on the first one. <laughs> 7 a.m. This is the most bougie Vegemite avocado toast that anyone's ever had. What are you waiting for? You look oh. <laughs> Am I doing fish slips? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this is not today's energy. Everybody. Well, not for everybody. For me and Daddy, we got morning shots, blood tonics. Whoa. Essentially, it's Yosh. like beetroot. I think you were saying Dad this morning. No, don't tell me he's pooed. I just changed him. I just changed you. Oh, I know, he's a mean man. <laughs> okay, this is turmeric, black pepper, apple cider vinegar, ginger. Do you want to try some? Okay, ready, Fox? Cheers. Oh, do you want me to have it first? My activewear selection of the day was from is from my activewear collection, which restocks on the 25th of July. That's what we were going with today. Let's cleanse this face. Now, there's three main reasons I decided to vlog today. Number one, vlogging is the most personal and like connective kind of content. By the way, probiotic milk cleanser. Secondly, Mother's Day is coming up and Kurt was asking, what do I want for Mother's Day? So I was telling Kurt everything that I wouldn't mind getting for Mother's Day, just like a, a wish list and he could pick off it. I was like, why don't I build my ultimate Mother's Day bundle and give it away to one of you guys? Like, I don't know. And especially in my time of life right now, like in my season, I'm so aware of mothers and how much we pour into just everyone. And like, I don't know. I feel like it's my time to give back to a mom. So later in this video, I'll show you the giveaway bundle that I've put together and one of you is gonna win it. So I wanted to do a vlog and give that to you guys literally for no reason other than I love you. And to give back to you guys, thirdly, this is so random, but I have wanted to film this for genuinely like three months. No matter what social media platform I'm using, whether it's TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, I am inundated with seeing people try Hailey Bieber's Air One smoothie. As far as I know, we don't have an Air One and I feel like if we did, it would be in Sydney, right? I don't know. P.S. Esme Hyaluronic Serum. The amount I see this smoothie is crazy and it's like 18 to $20 or something. What's $20 USD in Australian dollars? 
in Australian, that would be $30. Let's do vitamin B. This is a good, more affordable option. It's not like crazy expensive. It's just the Mecca vitamin B. So today I wanna look up the recipe and make it and like judge it's the wrong word, but like give my opinion, give my review. Honestly, I feel like I hate all concealers or maybe I just get the wrong color, but I feel like it makes me look, I don't know. I think I just get too light of a color. I bought this the other day and it's incredible. It's Bobbi Brown Skin Concealer Stick. It's our favorite word. It's like butter. It's super, super creamy. In terms of makeup, I just want it to look like an elevated version of my skin. Like I don't want anything too full coverage or heavy. I just want to accentuate my natural features and just smooth out my natural skin color. Whenever I film my makeup, I've obviously designated a little bit of time to do it. So it's, I guess, a chance for me to just go a little bit more, I don't know, purposeful and take some more time for myself. Because usually I have like Malachi crawling up me and Fox next to me, but Malachi is napping and Fox is working with the tradies at the moment. I'm such a blush girl. So I'm gonna go in with Laura Mercier and just bring out that rosiness a bit more. If I could just wear one product, it would be blush. I just fluff my brows up. Then like I said, this is Warm Blonde Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. Then I kind of fluff them out with this and then I just clean up the edge with my finger. I get a lot of questions what mascara I use. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Mascara. I do like it. However, the transfer is really bad. Like all throughout the day, I have to rub my eyelids because it's really creamy and nice. But for me, because I have long lashes, the transfer is just like continuous. And I only do my top lashes. So I was gonna get the Frank Body Lip Stain and they were sold out in Mecca. So the Mecca employee said this was a really good dupe. It's not a lip stain, but it's so, it's like a really affordable version. It's Lana Lips in Watermelon Jelly Balm. I've only recently got into like a red gloss. If you're a millennial, you'll know what I mean. It was all the rage to have like matte foundation lips. If your lips blended in with your skin, that was the look. Now, mm, not so much. And it's funny because I have quite naturally pigmented, I guess, pinkish lips. And I was always really embarrassed of that growing up. I would just like put literally concealer on my lips and pat that in like that. That was my look. I remember my mom saying to me, you just wait one day when you're older, you're gonna be so glad that you have like a pigment to your lips. And I was like, ew, mom, I hate red pinky lips. And now look at me, I love it. Like that's no lip liner, no color. That's just this line of lips. Okay, that is hair and makeup, done. Okay, we're about to go and get our Hailey Bieber smoothie ingredients. I'm just so curious to see if the hype is worth it. I just, I love a good smoothie. $20 for a smoothie? I feel like if I can watch it, it's easier. Hailey Bieber smoothie. Okay, here we go, here we go. One cup of strawberries, two dates, avocado, maple syrup, vanilla protein. What do they do for the strawberry glaze? Do they make a glaze? Do they do the sea moss blend? See, oh yep, yeah, okay, coconut cream, strawberry glaze. Why are they skipping, what's the strawberry glaze? What? Okay, let's go again, how to make this great. Okay, frozen strawberries, almond milk, dates. Why are people skipping? Why are they not doing the sea moss gel and the hyaluronic acid, which we can apparently eat? Okay, all right. We're gonna run with the base of her smoothie and make it as close to it as possible. We've got this. Guys, we've got this. I wonder how many people have come into the health food store asking for hyaluronic, ingestible hyaluronic acid serum. Not serum, but hyaluronic acid drops and sea moss gel. I'll throw an example up here of what this sea moss gel is. I wanted to try it for so long. I can't even imagine what it would taste like or like the, I guess it's like a jelly consistency. Okay, if I was sea moss gel, where would I be? From the health food store, I'm gonna get sea moss gel, hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid that you can eat. Excuse me. Do you have sea moss gel? Yeah, you gotta make it yourself. Yeah. yeah, I've heard so much about it because people get it in jars in America and it's yeah, like jelly. It only lasts like three days in a jar. No way. It's like if you do it yourself, he reckons it lasts like two weeks. So it contains like 97 of the 105 minerals we have in our body. What, is this the little pack? I'll get the baby pack in case. Yeah, yeah. Thank Indeed. you very much. <laughs> Sorry, what? I knew this was gonna be an expensive smoothie, but this is becoming ridiculous. This right here, okay, how many items did I get? One, two, three, four items. Guess how much this was. I'll give you, I'll give you a moment. 
Uh, wrong. It was $60. Six zero. I also asked for some like takeaway cups because if we're gonna make a takeaway Air One smoothie, it has to look like a takeaway Air One smoothie. Am I right? I'm right. Let's look up benefits of sea moss gel. 10 reasons to add sea moss gel to your diet. Eases joint pain, boosts metabolism, supports heart health, natural decongestion, enhances thyroid function. Okay, right, we get it, there's heaps. Now, unfortunately, she said you have to let this kind of go overnight. Sorry, Haley, we can't put fresh sea moss gel in our smoothie today, but we're gonna make it as close to yours as we can. One cup of frozen organic strawberries. Okay, two medjool dates, one tablespoon of maple. I feel like American versus Australian, we have like different inflections. We're like maple, like we're so bored. <laughs> Whereas you guys like maple. Haley, I only have normal liquid stevia. We're gonna do one. Wow, wow, <laughs> that comes out fast. <laughs> Am I right? I don't have vanilla stevia, so we're just gonna do a little boop of vanilla. This is pretty counterproductive. This is the Tropica Protein Plus Collagen, but just for the sake of feeling like we're doing this properly, I'm gonna add extra collagen because this is like a hyaluronic acid, which we don't have. Vanilla protein. Keep, I'm gonna do a fair bit. Avocado, where are you at, honey? Hard, hard, hard. Yes, we've got one, we've got one. A quarter? Water. Comment below, what's your favorite word that Australians say? Like if you're not from Australia, obviously. If you're from a different country, like is there certain words that you like that we say? Obviously the TikTok viral one. No, what? No, Cleo. The condensation. Oh no, Cleo. Is this everything? Oh, almond milk. <laughs> almond milk. A cup of almond milk. Do we do ice or do we, let's, I'll leave it. <laughs> I just want to do a little bit of ice. Okay, I know, I know it doesn't say that, but I'm just a little bit, just to kind of bulk it up a little bit. Not too much, relax. You babinators, you be, what are they called? Believers, nah, believers is Justin. What, Halinators, Haley? What's the club? Haley, Hales. I don't know. Smell strawberry. Pressure. All right, let's do this. Now I know, the domed lid, we're already off brand. Air One is flat, isn't it? It's like a flat lid. Sorry. I'm doing my best, okay? Let's do our organic coconut cream. Ooh, she's thick, honey. Should I whisk it? Yeah. Oh. Give her a bit of a mix. Why is mine so runny? I should have not mixed it. Separated it from the water. Do you know what? I have a solution. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of coconut kefir because this is like more sticky. Oopsie. And like smoosh it up the sides. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's pour it in. Okay, it's looking very white, but I think we can work with it. Like, let's be honest, everyone is buying it for the look and this is, it's it's almost there. It's not pink enough. My coconut ratio was so off. Okay, no, this is getting better. Oh, this is actually getting good. What do we think, guys? An imperfect timing for our taste test. I found my Hailey Bieber glasses. Taste test. Mm. I just got a chunk of pure coconut cream. That was my bad. Okay, let's go from the top. It's good. We developed a recipe last year, maybe, that was like, oopsie, strawberries and cream on Sunny. My cooking app, it's very, very similar to this one. In terms of taste, I would give it a 10 out of 10. It's really, really nice. It's not too fruity, not too vanilla-y. And I love the addition of the coconut cream and avocado for extra healthy fats. It's gonna keep you fuller for longer. Obviously the protein powder. This is a good, well-rounded smoothie. I'm hoping later this week I can do this. I think I have to like add water, let it soak and get gelatinous. And then I'll definitely be adding this to my smoothies this week. Oh, another chunk of coconut cream. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what this vlog needs? Some therapeutic cleaning. And this is the section. Look, my house is pretty tidy, but this is the section of my house that you've all asked me to vlog when I clean. I was going to do this in like the comfort of my own company, 
but every time I show this and mention, oh, I need to like go through this cupboard, everyone's like, please film it. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my skincare cupboard. But right now, there is no system at all. So we're gonna get everything down, clean it up, go through it. I'll show you some things that I love. Um, nothing on here is sponsored at all, but I've been meaning to do this, so let's do it together. This is such a great sleep on mask. This is the Daily Co Moisture Mask. This is like my ride or die hydrating skin product. Surely I can get rid of one of these. Well, one looks great. Yeah, keep these two. Okay, good. Look at this. Let's get an up close and personal. Are you ready for the most therapeutic swipe? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is from Fake Tan. Let's put the chance up here for now. I feel like down here it needs to be what I use the most. Porker. Boys are so boring. They have like nothing. I'm gonna throw you out. And you, and you. Moisturizers here. My abundance of Halloween. Okay, let's do oils. Some different gouaches. Masks. And then we'll do SPFs. This is actually embarrassing how much I'm enjoying this. Would you look at that? Beautiful. Done. Okay, Mother's Day giveaway. This is where Kurt gets annoyed at me because whenever I make my list of things that I want, I end up buying it myself. Love him because he asks me like a month in advance and I don't want to wait that long. These are the pajamas that I originally asked him to get me, but now they're here. Like I said, did I say? If I didn't, I'm saying it now. The Mother's Day giveaway is worldwide. Now for this prize, I wanted to make it as tailored to you as possible, whoever wins. Obviously I don't know your size or I don't know your skin type. I don't know what colors you like. Like I'm a pink girl you might be a blue girl. But I knew the products or the pieces I wanted to put in this prize and nothing screams Mother's Day like pajamas or a new robe. You guys know I live in that pink fluffy robe, but I wanted something a little bit more neutral. Oh my gosh, it has a hood. So the prize includes a $250 voucher for Homebody. So let me just show you the stuff that I got. This is what I've been waiting for. This is originally what I was gonna get for Mother's Day. Sorry, Kurt. Beautiful. Okay, this is the one I've been eyeing off. I feel like we need to try it on. How cool. Okay, it definitely needs a steam, but maybe we can be twinning. So that is the first part of the prize. You get to pick your own pajamas or robe, whatever you want up to the value of $250. On to the second part of the prize, the wholesome store. From the wholesome store, we have a smoothie tumbler with a straw. I will be shipping this box to the winner and then Homebody and the skincare from Esme, they are going to ship it to you. Cheese knives. How fun are they? Yes, yeah, salad servers. Some fun glass straws. And a booby vase. <laughs> That's so fun. So they are the pieces from the Wholesome store. And finally, to round off this amazing Mother's Day present, which I just feel like is the ultimate giveaway, you are getting the self-care kit from Esme, which is valued at $407. This is what is in the self-care kit. It's one full-size cleanser, two skin treats, one gentle exfoliant, one booster mask, one microfiber face cleansing mitt, and one headband. So to make sure that you pick the products that are right for your skin and your skin concerns, you're going to be teared up with Jamie. That's who I personally talk to and I communicate with through Esme. She's so beautiful. So the winner will get to chat to her and she will lead you in the right path for your own skin. Just to reiterate again, the winner of this Mother's Day giveaway is going to get a $250 voucher to Homebody. All of this stuff that I showed from the Wholesome store and the self-care kit, which is valued at $407 from Esme skin minerals. So to win this Mother's Day giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and comment on this video. That is all you have to do to win and I'll be announcing the winner on the 16th of May. I'll post on my Instagram and I'll also post a YouTube short here just announcing who the winner is and I'll get in contact with you and work out the best way to get this prize to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope everyone has an amazing Mother's Day and I can't wait to see who wins this giveaway. If you guys enjoy things like this and like want to do more giveaways and little pop up prizes then I would love to organize that for you so let me know in the comments below and again if you're subscribed then you could be one of the winners. I will see you guys in my next video and I will update you on who is the winner on the 16th of May. Bye!